the Halloween internet. Troy to the max extreme here. Yeah. Dinosaur Neil. And Ghost Hunter Danger. And together we spook the neighborhood as imperious Rex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at us. Three of us here dressed as Austin Powers, <laughs> as we normally do on Halloween. Wait. What? I thought you said purple suit. Mm hmm Male symbol. Yeah. I win as Prince. I thought Again. this was another Prince-related episode. Again, Troy. Oh, my God. You know how many Prince-related episodes we've had to scrap? <laughs> because you show up as Prince, and I'm afraid <laughs> we're going to get canceled. <laughs> it's too sex. Just label it NSFW. We'll have it come out. It's a Halloween-related theme this this time. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it got too sexy on Valentine's Day. I understand that now. Yeah. I mean, we should have known what we were getting ourselves into there. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, gentlemen, thanks for joining. Whatever, whatever form we want to take here. <laughs> Troy, if you want to be Prince and or Kenny Powers, you certainly can. <laughs> Neil, if you want to be Ruth Bader Ginsburg, <laughs> who am I to say no? We're here to celebrate Halloween and just have a wonderful time. Which was lacking from our, our previous episodes. I mean, I had a wonderful time. I think our viewers had a wonderful time. But the books themselves... Very spooky. One of them you didn't even read all of. No. Too spooky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But can I just say that Junji Ito episode was like, it's a new high water mark for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Having Troy read the book on air for the first time, live read through, was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially live tweeting your way through the entire collection. <laughs> great time so much that i i asked myself why don't we do more junji ito why do we save it tuck it away just for halloween mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i had this slated for the, the bottom of the hour but what Ooh. if i just throw this right up top right oh now my, see okay. see what people think okay. okay i know you've got a big life event coming up yes but hang with me here junji wary <laughs> <laughs> Rolls right off the top. We kick off the year right. 2023. Uh-huh. Junjuary. All month long, Junji Ito. Wow. I mean, you I... don't even have to read for it. Yeah. Woohoo! I'm in! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> there we go. Live producing. You saw it here. Mark your calendars. 2023. We're going to be oh. taking a step in the right direction. So, can we get into it? Yeah. Can we get into it? Uh, last episode. And it's Halloween, as as we've said. It's Halloween, spookiest time of the year. Oh, yeah. Last episode, we had so many different books to choose from. We had people throwing out suggestions. I couldn't make up my mind. So I had to reinstitute the Imperius Rex spinning wheel. Wow. Something yes. that has been collecting cobwebs mm -hmm. in, in the vault. Use in case of emergency. Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. broke that glass. We brought it out here. <laughs> we gave it a spin. Heck, we gave it two spins. <laughs> That's right. And then... As we want to do, we ignore the outcome entirely <laughs> because today we are doing a double feature mm. on our four-legged friends. We're talking about a fun Halloween supernatural yarn, stray dogs, and beasts of burden. Mm. So before we begin, and uh, I hate to do this, but this is me playing the YouTube game for just a minute here. <laughs> Did I say it right? You, it sounded very weird <laughs> saying YouTube. You watch videos. It's not I a guess. game. Oh, no oh game shit. On. After we took our little hiatus, we took a mental health break over the summer, I've noticed our numbers have been a little lower. And that may be because they, everyone thought we abandoned them, which we kind of did for a moment. <laughs> yes. But since then, we've hit the ground running. We've mm -hmm. come back at it. But uh, I have to notice, the business manager's on me. Mm. Numbers are a little low. Uh -huh. We mm -hmm. need to get those dividends into... Uh, mm -hmm. Dividing? <laughs> Dividing? Yeah. Multiplying? Yes, multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did a little research. Turns out, when you subscribe to something, mm -hmm. um, you still don't get all the alerts for it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just me. Mm -hmm. But if you go into your settings, you go to manage your subscriptions, you mm -hmm. click on it, it's, it defaults to personalized. Mm -hmm. You gotta switch it to all to get all the notifications. What? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the problem. 
Maybe everyone else just fell out of love with us. I don't know what it is, but I'm just throwing that out there. I didn't know this. We're not Ooh. saying you need to slam that like button. Maybe it's a fact <laughs> you don't have to smash, smash that, that like button and hit that bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below. Turns out you, you hitting the bell isn't enough. <laughs> but you gotta go in. You gotta yeah, do more yeah. bell play. Yeah, exactly. But if you could smash that if like button, could. hit that bell icon for yeah. notifications. Just, just maybe leave a comment down below. That's it. Little housekeeping. Right like, at the top. Yeah, like and subscribe, I guess. I yeah. Know. Or don't. I don't. <laughs> and this it's is just, why we it's have just to something. Make. It's just something I learned and I wanted to share. All right. Guys, can we get into it? Mm -hmm. Can we wonder why no one watches our fucking videos? <laughs> There's a steep drop off after the two minute mark when they haven't gotten to the fucking topic at hand. Um, one more thing, right up top. Oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this is a Halloween episode, as yeah, you yeah. said. Uh, we're filming this Halloween weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be edited on Monday, mm. Halloween. Mm -hmm. We got big party plans. We mm. might be out having a great time. Mm -hmm. So I'm just leaving myself an out here. If you see some photos of us having a real good time, Halloween weekend, this might come out a couple days after <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Just leave myself a little escape hatch. Here there we go. go. Dog stuff one. Which one was that? Stray dogs? Stray dogs. <laughs> dog oh, stuff one. Baby. Golly. Uh, for, let's talk about stray dogs for a second here. Please. If I could. Mm -hmm. I want to go in, because I went into this absolutely blind. Mm. I didn't know much about it than the title. Same. Yeah. And you told me, like, I think you're going to like the art, art style. Turns out. I think you will. I did. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the art style was good. Mm -hmm. Very, like, Disney-esque looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of a lot of, like, all dogs go to heaven vibes. Oh, yeah, Mostly yeah, yeah. because of the dogs. Right. And because they, they die. go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know every personality of these dogs. Some yeah. of them may be yeah, going... Some dark backstories. Yes. <laughs> some of them could have been murderous dogs. Oh, my God. Rapey dogs, even. Oh, my God. You don't know. Troy, give us a real quick, real quick synopsis. Spin it for us quick. Sure. Uh, what is Stray Dogs about? Stray Dogs. We follow uh, one of our main characters, Little Dog. Little Dog. I don't know anybody's names in this. Right. No this dog's is, names. This is my first uh, <laughs> note of the story here. My immediate thought, I'm never going to keep all these dogs straight. No. Little tiny dog. Little Sophie. Her name is Sophie. Sophie. It's the only one I know. Gets adopted into a uh, large family of other dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, they have an owner that is comes and goes throughout the day. And throughout the book... They find out maybe nefarious things about their owner. Oh my god. And a uh, little uh, mishappenings along the way. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The shag me rotten. The, <laughs> the strays may not be so. Strayed? Strayed after all. Well, they, they Still dogs. Though. I mean, they Still are, dogs. but it's more of a purposeful stray. All you know right. I mean? Yeah, I know guys, what you mean. I read the book. Got a real dog fetish. Yeah. Not in that way. No. But kind of. A little bit. Not in the way. He just likes dogs. Loves dogs. Is he like the dogs or the murder more? <laughs> <laughs> a murder, you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think he does one for the other, really. But, ooh, let's get into this, because I just opened up this whole can of worms. I don't know what he likes more. Does the murder for the dogs? No, not for the dogs. Well, no. It's not for <laughs> like their well-being. The, okay. But he kills the owner so he can take the dog. He, can, he seems to like having dogs around. Or Except is, when he doesn't, and then he takes them out back and shoots them. <laughs> <laughs> is the dog his in for murder? And he's like, if I have a variety of dogs, I have a variety of ins. Uh, so mm. this book was a runaway hit. Mm -hmm. Runaway. From Image Comics uh -huh. just last year. And it was brought to us by Tony Fleeks and Trish Forstner. Mm -hmm. And apparently they're famous for My Little Pony. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, and I can see totally that. Dark style, style, I say. Definitely is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right up that alley. Yeah. yeah. Darker turn. Yes. <laughs> Boy, what I'm assuming. Maybe there's a, a brutal underbelly to the My Little <laughs> Pony that we need to get into. We're, we're no bronies. Not no, yet. We're not. not mm. I mean, really, we're two steps removed at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's not a far stretch. Uh, but I really enjoyed this. It was very quick, very easy. Read it on a plane in like an hour. Yep. And uh, there is a second volume, which I will have to check out. Mm -hmm. I thought I had it. Dug through this giant pile of stuff that I haven't put away yet. Not there? Didn't see it. Okay. it could be, I mean, it literally could be anywhere, and I would know it. But I I bought it or rebought it. <laughs> so it's on its way. Or it's already here. <laughs>
What uh, made these quick and easy reads is everything's from a dog's point of view. And mm -hmm. what I'll give kind of for both of the books is that they're very, like, simple dog talk, <laughs> essentially. So, like, they are an absolute breeze to get yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah. I also like that the uh, the main dog in this, Sophie, has apparently the uh, the Lenny memory condition from Memento. Where <laughs> she has no short-term memory, <laughs> and she's constantly, like, forgetting about her previous owner. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the big conflicts of this, where she knows something awful happened, but she keeps kind of forgetting it. And when she remembers it or something like flashes it before her eyes she has to hold on to it before she forgets entirely yeah and then she's got to get this the rest of the dog troop to go in on it with her and believe that their master may not be always cracked up to be it's true so it, you kind of see like a little veterinary uh a trip early on in this and they kind of give you like that summary in like of just a few panels i don't know what even what the veterinary trip was for i don't know getting shots boosters or whatever but they're pretty well what is that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a pasta. <laughs> the vet pretty much says, like, yeah, dogs won't remember this. They have no short-term memory. And it's like, okay. Is that real? Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Ask a dog? <laughs> <laughs> sure it's real. Who's going to say they don't? Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty much the explanation you get. But I kind of kept forgetting that up until the very end. <laughs> Maybe How you. Ironic. <laughs> Maybe I took too much more to tell <laughs> I did have a lot of pasta the other day. Might be a mortadella. I said, said bordadella. Bordello? No, bordello. you know what? Just stop. <laughs> the veterinary bordello. God, say write that down for the next episode. <laughs> my my biggest takeaway on this is I love the art style. We yeah, already yeah. mentioned it, but like had the painted backgrounds, mm -hmm. had like the very Disney reminiscent cell animation. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I'm yeah. amazed no one has done this before. Right. Taken like a very like kid friendly looking book and kind of did a dark horror twist to it. Mm -hmm. It didn't ever go super dark, but it did occasionally go more than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of times in this where it's very tense and unnerving. It's like, yeah. oh god, what's gonna, yeah, what's gonna happen to this dog? Oh. Especially the one with three legs. Oh well, oh. nothing good for him. <laughs> <laughs> that was the part that I was like, surely they wouldn't. <laughs> Leaves it behind the shed. Yeah. Spoilers. Shoots it. <laughs> yeah. And then you find its skinned corpse. Yeah. Later yeah, on. Yeah. What's he doing with that dog skin? Making a coat. I was saying. You see, <laughs> yeah, it is a Dalmatian. It was yeah. a Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So how many woof, woof, woofs do you give this out of uh, uh, Halloween? Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> I just synapsed. <laughs> <because of that. laughs> I'm going to digest this uh, rating system uh, here real quick. I quite like, I, uh, woofs out of Halloween, I'd probably give it three woofs out of th four Halloweens. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty I good. I think that's... Seems like the average right now. Yeah. I looked it up on yeah. degrees. That's, that's pretty much bad. what they were yeah. saying. That's not uh, bad. Yeah, I would I would recommend this to anybody, comic fan yeah. or no comic fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real fun, quick, breezy little read. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything and, else? And, well, now that there is a volume two out, mm. I kind of because volume one kind of wraps up kind of like in an almost happy ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of I'm very curious on what what a volume two would be. I, uh, I think it might be backstories on some of the other dogs. Okay. That's what I... I'd like that. Yeah. That'd okay. be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You only get to know the backstories of like the one two or three dogs? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one dog though. I can't remember what his name was. Mm -hmm. But you know, the one. The it good one. It won't tell. No, the Sophie. other one. That. No. No. The good one. Three mm -hmm. legs. N no. <laughs> no. Not, it's not three legs. <laughs> uh, the one from Fox and the Hound. The, uh... Uh, McGruff looking dog. No, he's the mean one. But not so mean in the beginning. You didn't know his backstory. Consult the text. <laughs> this one. Oh, yeah. It's a good dog. That yeah. one. Good yeah. dog. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like one of the hyenas from uh, Lion King. He yeah. does look but good, bit. though. Yeah, a good one. Is that all for stray dogs? I think so. All right. Because my dogs are barking. Oh. So many dog related puns we could throw out, but we're not going to do any more than that. Not Moratorium. anymore. No, nope. nope. just Austin like Powers it. and Prince related puns. <laughs> oh. So, excuse me, I need to air this thing out here. <laughs> Too sexy. That thing does look like a winter jacket. It is <laughs> a winter jacket. Found at Goodwill. The Incredible. pants and the coat, same time, different racks. Whew. I bet Man you somebody be. returned it as a piece, like a. a 
The, the whole ensemble. The whole ensemble. Uh, and they uh, tried to split it up. These girl size 14 <laughs> slacks. <laughs> what is a 14? I don't know. I think what it's a teenage. Fuck? I think it's a 14 year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes sense to me. Can we talk about Beasts of Burden? Yes. Please. Okay. Please. All right. All right. Hold tight. So this comes to us from Dark Horse Comics, uh -huh. and courtesy of Evan Dorkin. <laughs> <laughs> and Jill Thompson. Uh -huh. And this began as a series of one-shots for various Dark Horse horror collections mm -hmm. that eventually sprung into an ongoing series, and only then did it get the title Beasts of Burden. Oh, wow. What was it beforehand? Just whatever the one-shots were titled. <laughs> okay. So their first appearance was in Stray. Okay. Wow. Not Stray Dogs, mind you. I didn't see it in there when I read but that. But it's about Stray Dogs. It is very and much one so. cat. <laughs> yep. But they're not strays. You're right. They're not. It's not. It's just dogs. Seems like a weird yeah. title. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, now, this book's pretty fucked up. So this went from like 2003 to 2006 before it became its own series. It was just one shots, as I said. One of which, they team up with Hellboy. Oh. And then they go into a couple uh, long form stories. And I think they're collected in four hardcovers or trades since then. That's all they're up to at this point. Okay. But just, they, they were very reminiscent of Hellboy. Very much Just some animals going on, paranormal investigations. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, Dark Horse has, like, this weird niche where it's like, we're just going to have, like, anthology stories that deal with spookiness. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> be it, I don't care who the protagonist is, don't have to be long form, short stuff. They're going to see some ghosts, maybe some ghouls. <laughs> oh my They're going to solve Lord. the case at the end. That's that. That's that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It's a template. Uh, but you know what? It works. It, it does it ever. Formula doesn't isn't broken. No. Nope. Well, Why fix it? Yeah. Because you, like, you fix it, an animal. Ooh, that was a too far of a stretch. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going by what Bob Barker tells me. <laughs> Neil. Yeah? Would you care to give us... A quick synopsis on this one. I will certainly try. So this is a group of short stories all combined, but they kind of do form some like long form content kind of as it goes on. But it is a and long form friendships. He, does it ever? Thank you yeah. For saying that. So we've got <laughs> a uh, a group of dogs and cat uh, who all seem to have owners except for the cat, and they right. all they all just kind of like team up and like. Pretty much just fight supernatural. Yeah, solve paranormal activity kind of stuff, like supernatural stuff, and it ranges from just like swamp muck monsters to like warlocks to just a Haunted big rat. dog houses. Yeah, yeah, haunt, yeah, exactly. It, it it stretches the gamut of many things. But a werewolf. Oh yes, mm -hmm. this is true. Mm. Cat witches. Oh yeah. my god, the most yeah. evil of witches. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh yes. My first note. I'm not going to remember any of these animals names. <laughs> not a, not <laughs> yeah. a single one. So they, as you said, they go on a myriad of adventures. Mm -hmm. Any standout moments from you? There's mm -hmm. eight of them, I think, collected in this. I do like, uh, now I know a lot of this is with the cat, or I'm sorry, with the dogs. Mm. But the cat in there? I kind of like that he's thrown in the mix. I love the Same. Cat. I know what else Same. is missing from stray dogs a bit. Oh, I think you're right. I think you're onto something. A little something. bit of cat action. Yeah. Hey, get that pussy in there. Oh my. <laughs> also... I like uh, that even though this is a collection of shorts that has like callbacks and stuff. So mm -hmm. like stuff that happens in the beginning of this with like that coven of witches Oof. and the like, witch cats. Yeah. Like Very what's spooky. going on with all these, these fucking cats? One comes back later. Yeah. yeah. Maybe helps them out. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a real Friend bitch. Me. Maybe. <laughs> a little bit. A little it bit. is a real bitch. And then sometimes pretty not nice. as much of a, a bitch. Help, a helpful bitch. Yes. <laughs> exactly. True. True. I personally like that one of the lead dogs mm -hmm. was a husky. Used to have one uh -huh. myself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very much enjoyed the husky. Good I, husky. I Good love husky. The husky. The, yeah. I think it's Ace is Ace. his name. Yep. I Ace. very Ace much enjoyed place. that. Ace. I will say, once you've owned a husky, you'll never get rid of any hair. I still have husky <laughs> hair. <laughs> Haven't had this dog for years. <laughs> uh, there's hair everywhere. God, look at him there, having a little rest. <laughs> yeah. Like he's so he's so brave. He's so brave. He's though. just he's a wonderful dog. Ace uh -huh. is a good boy. On the other end of that is the Pugsley, that the pug, pug, which is just the, the one worst. from Men in Men Black, in Black. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just, yeah, it just 
And it talks like the one. Yeah, I was gonna say like, like I all pictured him with a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he's always like just uh, he just doesn't want to be like why are you here, Pugsley? Yeah. Just don't I don't come think he along. does anything. No, no, he doesn't. He fucking complains. A lot a whole of I would say there book. there are three of them that really do anything, mm -hmm. and I love the ones that just say fire magic and then things set on fire. Like whoa! Oh yeah, these dogs know magic. <laughs> they yeah, yeah, yeah. most you of them better believe they yeah, know yeah, magic. Yeah. yeah. I also like at one point because there's like a like a uh, the wise dog the wise dog or whatever. that's actually my favorite thing when they all just howl and then this big shaggy white dog just pops up and is like what's up yeah like, do you belong to somebody do you just leave do you just and belong to like, dogs all or do you like live in the woods or something but anyway he shows up and he's like do you want to be you want to be, be part of this dog be... council I they really don't but they they do it mm -hmm. they do it. Yeah. And then they're they put in the work. Also, like too that they're like, all right, now that we're in this, they like turn down like a ton of stuff. <laughs> like you realize all this shit that just like, uh, like yeah, this this uh, dog's puppies disappeared. We also got these other things like somebody stealing this guy's bones or <laughs> digging up this guy's bones or something. I don't even know if that was a real story. They end up going with the puppy thing, right? So they they get yeah. a bunch of bullshit ones and they're like pass. No, yeah. I don't want to do those. That issue specifically oh. is like the most heart wrenching yeah. one. It really, oh, that was probably my, my favorite issue. It was, it was very really good. good. Yeah. It was very good. The mother, the the, yeah. uh, the dogs all get thrown in the lake by mm. some little piece of shit kid named piece David. Don't shit. worry, a bunch of dogs eat his fucking neck. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. 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 So yeah. again, this one it gets it it's has a tendency violent. to get a bit yeah. brutal. Uh, yeah, it yeah. gets uh -huh. to, uh, especially in the sewers with that big old rat god that light up on fire. You guys seen a picture of an actual rat king where it's like, like from turtles no 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 not from turtles like a real life rat king it's a real thing this where, is a thing where rats get all tangled up with each other and their tails get all knotted up and it's just like this <laughs> hump of like rat and that, that's called a rat king does it have a hive mind i hope it does <laughs> oh because God. that would make more sense <laughs> right I just watched a, a episode of that Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosity. Rat King? Big ol' Rat King. Golly! Don't like that! No. Can you imagine that? That was Pizza Rat? Oh. Just getting like an entire pizzeria <laughs> drug out? Pizza Rat. <laughs> you ever seen a Pizza Rat? What? Is this a thing? Yeah, look it up. Put it in the comments. Yeah, I know. Oh. There's a rat <laughs> driving around a big piece of pizza. Yeah, See, but a, it's, a, it's a New York rat. You it's know? a New York thing. That oh, okay. I thought rat. it was a turtles thing. No. It's a lot of turtles. <laughs> nope. All right. Nope. It's real life. This okay. is real life shit day. Cowabunga, man. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also really enjoyed the werewolf story. Yes. Where they adopt a stray human, essentially. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ace makes a bond with him, this uh, this Native American kid who's, like, on the run. They strike up this fast friendship and just, they're having a wonderful time. But you know what? This kid, he's going through some changes of his own. Mm. He's a werewolf. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they have to fight him and end up putting him down. Mm -hmm. And Ace ends up a little worse for wear. Mm -hmm. He heals up. He, he gets over it. Yep. But, uh, he has a cone. He has a cone. <laughs> yeah. But he's curled up next to the fire. He's having a good rest. That's right. There's a couple emotional beats in this. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, the end, I enjoyed the mug man. Yeah, that one was... If we can jump right to the end, I yeah. really enjoyed the Mudman. Yeah, Love one... the look of the mud men. So did I. That one was probably the most bizarre out of all of them, so it's yes. funny that they just saved it for last, where it's like, this is the one with the warlock in it who summons all these mud men. I kept yeah. thinking, like, is, was this character introduced earlier? I was like, is it, is it the Native American boy? Because they look almost identical. It's not. No. He just crawls out of the grave with, like, a bottle of Jack Daniels, yeah. summons a bunch of mud people. Yeah. Love the design of the mud people. Those are, that's good mud people. Good mud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And speaking on design and artwork, again. Holy shit. Art on this. Awesome. Like a warm I blanket. I loved yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, Jill Thompson with these just wonderful paint, watercolor painted mm -hmm. animals. Just want to snuggle every one of them except that fucking pug. God, <laughs> get that fucking pug out of here, but otherwise everyone's a real good boy. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Dog books. Dog books, Who man. Who would thunk them? Who would yeah. thunk they'd be so spooky? Oh! It was a bit of a... Too spook... Too... Too spooky? The... You know what? Just because they're so cute. Yeah. The puppy boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got me through them. Otherwise, if this is... This is like a Stranger Things thing with kids? Oh, my. 
I would call it call it quits. Call an early night. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I've had enough of this. Into the fireplace. <laughs> and then I'm diving into the fireplace right now. <laughs> what a way to what a way to wrap up the mm -hmm. St. Pierce Rex Halloween. Mm. Oh, man. We we went through the whole gamut. Boy, we did. did we. We killed some children. We did. We had some Junji Ito laughs. Mm -hmm. We uh, voyeuristically peeked into those red rooms. Mm -hmm. And then we found our way home. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. With uh, a couple of strays. Mm -hmm. Wow. And a couple of owned dogs. That we <laughs> <laughs> found out that most of them were owned. Re yeah. yeah. <laughs> we reappropriated. <laughs> it was a good time. I felt like we needed something lighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something completely off-brand for mm -hmm. Imperius Rex. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. dialed it back. Mm -hmm. But then we we brought it up. Oh, with, yeah. oh with, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the attire. Ooh, we, oh, <laughs> my God! We came out the better for it, baby! Oh, oh, hey! God. Hey, no! God. No! I'm just... I'm still doing Oh, he's still going. <laughs> oh, he's going to town. Oh, he's in this camera now! <laughs> Can you imagine... <laughs> The lucky buyer that is going to get this wig when Troy returns it back to the spirit Halloween on his way home. The journey this hairpiece has been on. I might My keep God. it now. <laughs> <laughs> Just wear it forever now. But hey, folks hey. out there, if you've had a wonderful time reading these dog books, let us know in the comments down below. What was your favorite read? If you got into these spooky little canine adventures. And have you gone on? Have you read some of their other adventures? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. when they cross paths with Hellboy. Mm -hmm. Or other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there more spooky dog books we should be aware of? My God. I don't think there is. I've had enough with dogs, if I can be frank. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to keep them straight. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Troy? What have what you been up to? Mm. We got a little extra time here. How much time we got on these cards? <laughs> Oh, they're all expired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hasn't even been recording. <laughs> One more time from the top. Uh, I've been making uh, some Halloween costumes for my uh, son. Oh, I loved it. Mm -hmm. Multiple want... costumes. Well, following in our footsteps. My, so see. <laughs> my wife is what, making. What Disney my princess is he going to be? <laughs> <laughs> he is going. He wanted to really be Thor this Halloween. Really be Thor. Mm -hmm. He wanted to really be Thor. He's not phoning this. And thing. then he wanted to be Hulk, but I'm like, too bad. You already picked Thor, and I've already started on it. So he's being Thor. Uh huh. And I've made him a Thor costume. Uh, some pictures are right here. I I really actually enjoy doing this while I can for. My kids, for the most part, even though I really went down to the wire this last one. <laughs> oh my one. god, yeah. But uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I made him a, a Molnir with actual lights inside it that glow out, oh like with lightning infused in hammer. Woo! What's your daughter? She's just a pretty princess. If you want to be a very pretty princess. Class. But it's relate. a custom job. Custom now. job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is yeah. any other princess. You're not going to find this at Target. The You're not going to find this off the rack. Nah. Now, this is a custom job, okay? Molto bene. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the raspberry beret of costume. Mm, I can say so myself. Oh my God. But yeah, looks good. Looks great. Can't wait for him to not care for it in like five minutes. Yeah, but <laughs> that sounds good. Thought I was being Hulk, you piece of shit. <laughs> 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 oh man, my kid is obsessed with Wendigo and has been for quite some time. I see. Yeah, so last year we tried to find him like a deer skull mask. Mm -hmm. You can't find them. They're just like, they're wall art. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so we did find some wall art and we cut it in half, sheared it, and we still need to create some sort of band to wrap it around his head. Mm -hmm. But he's going to win to go it up tonight. Nice. Well, not tonight. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And my youngest is like a Minecraft guy. Okay. Just the main character. What's his name? Steve. Steve. I don't know. He's a, he's he's going as an average man. <laughs> <laughs> but blockier. Much blockier, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any kids, so <laughs> I don't. Uh, why is that flashing? I am so sweaty. In this is fucking hell. Holy fuck, it's hot. People out there, if you're interested in becoming a patron of our channel, you may do so because perks are a plenty. Once Ooh, you become man. a patron at any level, you get access to the Discord 
The conversation never sleeps. Don't never it. sleeps. Uh-huh. 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 And if you like merch, it is available on Red Bubble. Red Bubble? Red Bubble? Red Bubble. Red Bubble. Red Bubble. Red mm-hmm. However I said it, that's how it's spelled. You gotta type it in phonetically. <laughs> 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 Good luck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of great stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Also, wanted to give a quick shout out to a friend of the show and a friend in real life, mm-hmm. uh, Emily. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, famous we, local artist. Famous <laughs> local artist. She yeah. really is. Did yeah. some uh, did some show artwork <laughs> of us. Yeah. I was like, yeah. well, what a wonderful thing that yeah. she did. You can find her artwork right here. Mm-hmm. We'll put the link right down here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got so many prints of hers hung up in our house. Yeah. And she has a uh, an ongoing webtoon called The Vampire Librarian, mm-hmm. which blew up not too long ago. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So give her give her a look. Yeah. yeah. Shirts and stickers and all that fun stuff. We've worn a lot of the shirts on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just uh, cool, cool style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good person. Mm-hmm. Give her a look. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just so lucky we get to hang out with her. In your faces. <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> audience. <laughs> that's going to be the show. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And until next time, I have been Troy Max Extreme. I've been Dinosaur Neon. I've been Ghost Hunter Dave, guys. Ooh, and we've been Imperious Rex. <laughs> yeah, ooh, baby. Ooh, Bang your gavel. Ooh, Bang it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in hell! Rush of beer down your head. Why is she in hell? <laughs> what did she do? <laughs>